find out you're coming up here? What was that 24 hours kind of like? Yeah, so uh, I was on the field uh, in Norfolk playing catch, and uh, just kind of they pulled me off to the side, and uh, then that's when they told me that I was going up. Uh, and it was pretty hectic after that, um, seeing the, I guess, the, just the, the flight was like an hour and a half. I, I was just speechless. What were the emotions of the last 24 hours for you, and what was it like out there? Were you able to make it as close as you could to another game? Yeah, I mean, it happened quick. So, uh, I mean, the, the emotions are definitely high, uh, but it was just kind of a whirlwind. So, do you have were you when you got sent down at the end of spring training and it seemed like this might not happen? Um, yeah, it was disappointing. Um, obviously, having the goals to break with the big league team, but just going and getting after it, getting consistent work, that's kind of what it was all about. And, uh, you know, thankfully, it was a pretty quick turnaround, so we were able to come out here and make a start. The debut is going to be special no matter what, but, but doing this in Texas, like three hours from, from home, did that make it even even more memorable? Yeah, so, I, I mean, I grew up watching the Texas Rangers. Uh, you know, a lot of memories at the old ballpark. Um, you know, getting to come and throw here uh, is pretty special. How much did you appreciate just having all that support here today? Uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun having friends and family, uh, especially being able to be so close, uh, having everybody out. Jason, why were the results better today than spring training for you? Um, I don't know. I guess it's season mode. Uh, you know, spring training is, I guess, about getting your work in. Uh, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, you don't really focus on the results. Uh, it's all about a build up to the, to the regular season. And so, you know, I guess the work that we put in kind of got us here. Chris, you talk about kind of getting through that first inning, 30 pitches. You had to kind of battle through it. And at times it looked like you might not get through it. But just talk about getting through that and settling down and getting through five. Yeah, there was a lot of nerves that first inning. Uh, you know, really couldn't feel the baseball. Uh, but, yeah, having the first inning, getting it out of the way uh, was pretty special. Then going out in the second uh, and just being able to, you know, get after it. So did you feel that much different once you got out there in the second inning, just having that? Yeah. Um, definitely the second inning felt like a normal game. Uh, the first inning, I kind of felt like I was on an island. But, uh, yeah, the second inning was pretty normal. What does it feel to get a no decision against an ace like DeGrom? Uh, that was a lot of fun to watch. Uh, you know, that's one of baseball's best, and uh, it was pretty fun to go up against him. What was that phone call like with, with your mom and dad yesterday? Uh, a lot of tears, I guess. Uh, you know, kind of being able to tell them, it was pretty special. So, you know how many people you had here? Uh, no idea, but uh, I feel feel like it's a good amount. Parents what? and family, though. Yeah, uh, parents, family, a lot of just friends and family from back home. When you finally have time to sit down and relax and think about the last 24 hours here in a day or two, what are some of the things you think is going to come most to the forefront for you? Uh, I don't know. I mean, you know, it just happened really quick. Uh, just kind of having the friends and family here, that'll, that'll be the special part. You talked about that first inning, of course, in spring training. There were a few innings there that did unravel and got away from you. How nice was it when you got that ground out to get out of that inning? You know, that, that inning didn't get away from you like they since Yeah, um, that's really all I was trying to do is just get out of it. So uh, not letting it pile up, uh, you know, and kind of snowball, but just kind of being able to make a pitch there late uh, and getting a ground ball to second. The all-speed stuff in the first was a little shaky command-wise, but, but after that, it really did look what was the feel like on those all-speed pitches in the last four innings? Uh, you know, I really don't know what I was feeling. I guess it was like the, the nerves and the jitters, uh, just kind of being out there, you know, on a big league mound for the first time. So really just kind of trying to get it synced in uh, like we did in the second. Through 97, uh, to get Seeger there with that last pitch of yours, how good does that feel with, with a guy of that stature striking him out? Yeah, I mean, anytime he steps in the box, uh, you know, you got to be on edge. So uh, being able to strike somebody out like that, that's pretty special. When you were rolling as the game went on, did it feel a lot like early last year when you were rolling a AAA? Yeah, um, absolutely. Finally, just kind of getting into a groove, into a mode where, you know, we're just going out there throwing strikes and getting outs. How much are you hoping to get another start, and how hopeful are you that you're going to be staying in the big leagues now that you're here? Say it again. How hopeful are you that you're going to get another start up here and that maybe you'll be staying in the big leagues? Um, you know, really just whatever they tell me. Uh, if, if they want to give me another start, I'll be ready for it.